I was just going to add, nothing's done without action. And I love these armchair quarterbacks. Oh, it won't work. It'll never happen. It'll never work and happen if people don't believe it and take action. And exactly. As this, and as this crisis comes, we need to be there with the solutions so people have an escape valve. And, uh, you know, I know you've built things and done things and been successful in life, so you know the power of humanity. And I've been su somewhat successful in my life. And that's why I want others out there to have respect for themselves and realize that, to dream is destiny, and that action is victory. And so that, I mean, even if you just move out in the country with your friends and family somewhere else, the point is get off the grid, get self-sufficient, join together, because true wealth is your friends, your family, your neighbors, your community, and the willingness to stand together and to fight, because we're going into great time of tribulation. We're going to come back to the full audience uh Russell, and I want to ask you one more question about Obama to a message to the suckers out there because it's so painful to see them being suckered and to see them falling to this deception. Uh, so I want to uh, talk about that in closing and also give out the website and phone number uh, one more time. In fact, guys, make sure and let's get his website addressed. Folks, it is the final segment with Russell Means, the final segment of the show. I had a state representative where they're declaring sovereignty in Missouri on today. I had uh, Mark Dice of the Resistance Manifesto on. Uh, and, of course, we have Russell Means, uh, just an amazing uh, activist for liberty and freedom. He's been mischaracterized in the press quite a bit, but uh, that tells you he's a good guy. You look at what he actually stands for. I I know that uh, he's a guy after my own heart, and we really uh, appreciate him. I want to get him on about eugenics and the overall New World Order and what it's like to come from a group that's been so intensely targeted by this. But in closing... Um, a message to the Obama people who, 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 who took their hatred of Bush that was legitimate and transmuted it into love for Obama, not knowing it's the same manager crew behind it. I, you know, they think we're, they feel like they're at the table now. They feel like they've had a great victory. They don't know they've just been sold a bunch of glass beads and wampum for New York. They, I, I, they don't understand that, that this is a cold blooded setup, but, but we have, studied this and looked at this and lived this so we know they haven't discovered that yet in closing what do you say to them well i want to be facetious actually and just say goodbye but the uh the sheeple the sheeple that are uh, obamaites or where, however you're going to they've been obamatized the those people i have found in my visit to texas and among my own people here on the reservation and into the the people who are uh, considered conservative Republicans in the state of South Dakota, the, no one's listening. No one wants to take responsibility. And that's what's happened in this country. And Thomas Jefferson said it best, you know, to be free, you have to be responsible. It, it goes hand in hand. I can't say it enough. And so... I'm very skeptical in saying anything to the people who are the sheeple who have been Obamatized because that's their new savior. You cannot penetrate their defenses because they refuse to hear it. I talked common sense and I talked spirituality and I, I talked facts and figures with these people down in Texas who are Obamatized. And they wouldn't hear a thing, and they felt sorry for me. They felt sorry for me. And they told me, you're going to see in 18 months. What, what we all don't understand here in America is that it's over. And if the United States of America just came out and said, well, it's over, well, there'd be a, a rising of the people. They don't want that. So they're, they're manufacturing, they're printing this money so that they can let you down easy, let you down easily. And, and those people over there lost their homes. And those people over there lost their homes. And as they let you down easy and, you're, and your wages go down and your livelihood goes down and your, your trips become shorter and you don't buy as much until the fact is you're going to look around one day, huh? Uh -huh. But they're already committed to him, so they won't even admit they were wrong, just like people under Stalin or Hitler still wouldn't admit they were conned and wrong because they've invested in it. They're going to have right-wing groups attacking. They're going to have Nazis protesting to make him look good. They're going to play a lot of games. Oh, definitely. They are masters at manipulation. 
It's an Orwellian reality. And so, but always remember this, and this has always rung true. It only takes 2% of a people to foment a successful revolution. And we want a revolution to return one revolution back to freedom of the individual.